Hi, and welcome to another episode of My Life with Android. This is the follow-up review to the application Evernote. I'm just going to show you the widget you can get for it as well. It's the Evernote list one down here. So I'm just going to plunk it on this screen quickly. There we go, and when it comes up, it does this. So you can choose your style, whether you want it black and white or green, like the application is. So we'll do this. Done. There you go. Usually this bit would be green. This is as big as the application goes. And uh, this down here, all this top line, is what uh, is part of what I recorded and the first paragraph of what I recorded um, through my voice. If you're actually reading it, don't be too worried about the last few words because it actually spelt it wrong. That isn't what I was trying to say at all. So it's you really do have to, when you do the voice recording on Evernote and it changes it to text, you do have to make sure that you pronounce your words correctly or else it does kind of tend to go a bit weird. Um, but this is the widget, so this is what it looks like normally. It's got your documents. Uh, this is the first document. This is the second document. Uh, so I presume as you go on, it would be second, then third, then third, then fourth, and so on and so forth. Uh, you've got the new one here. You've got the camera here. You've got the microphone here. You've got the set time, add reminders. Onto a calendar. Today, yesterday, tomorrow, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Yeah, you can just keep on going. So I'm going to cancel that reminder. Just have a look at this one. Yep, this is a new document. So the widget's actually quite a handy widget. This will be the camera one. Yep, there you go. As you can see, it doesn't, uh, the app bit down here doesn't go into landscape. It only stays in profile, but that should be all right because it's more about talking to the camera than anything else. You can switch cameras as well between your front and the, between the front and the back camera. So let's just go out of that one. This will make it go mental. Uh, voice captured failed because I'm recording my voice at the moment. Um, but it does work. It is really good. You just have to pronounce your words. Uh, yeah, you've got the set reminder and then you've got the settings here as well. So you can change it back to green if you want. Last viewed, last updated. Um... So yeah, you can change it for the notes, um, depending on how they want to go. So let's put last updated, done, and there you go. That was the one that was last updated on the top. So your work is always the one at the top. Uh, let's have a quick look. Nice. So you can new note, snapshot, page camera, audio note, quick reminder, search, you can add on there, settings, quick snapshot, sketch, and speak to text note. So you can change the buttons that you want along here as well, which is very nice. I wouldn't suggest you change the settings one though. Because you kind of want to get back into the settings. And there you go, it changes it all automatically. So this is definitely a, re a widget that is just as good as the original applications. Usually, I don't have a lot of widgets and I don't use a lot of widgets. They're normally a bit too big for my liking. But this one, the size is just right and it works fine. It is a really good piece of kit, Evernote really is. Um, if you do do a lot of professional work or you are in college or you're a student <coughs> or, 
or you just want to organise your life really well and keep track of notes and shopping list and things like that on your mobile phone or on your note, then Evernote is definitely one for it. The widget, I would definitely give a 4 to a 4.5, but if you get the widget and the app, then it's a definitely strong 4.5 out of 5. So thank you very much for watching my review on Evernote done on the Samsung Note 10.1. As always, please go on to my channel and subscribe and share. I hope you've enjoyed it and I will see you all next time.